In this video, we will learn how to obtain succinic anhydride. Succinic anhydride is a common substance in the chemical industry. Among the products obtained with succinic anhydride, naphthalene, tetralin, and citraconic anhydride, the latter is used as a sizing agent in the paper manufacturing process to achieve hydrophobicity. In this synthesis, I will use two different processes. One is economical and the other that is more expensive. As a starting product, we will use succinic acid, which is easy to find and inexpensive. In the first process that I will show, the yield is lower. The obtaining of succinic anhydride involves eliminating a molecule of water by heating succinic acid to more than 250 degrees. We use affordable and cheaper solvents like 100% acetic acid and ether to isolate it. In the second process, we will eliminate the water molecules with acetyl chloride, which is a more expensive and dangerous reagent. Acetyl chloride vapors are dangerous. When they come into contact with humidity, they transform into a mixture of gaseous hydrochloric acid and acetic acid, which is very irritating to our lungs. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. In the first process, we will add 20 grams of succinic acid to a 100 milliliters flask. The distillation tube, which is 10 to 20 millimeters in diameter, is attached and a flask is used as the receiver. We heat the flask with a heat source capable of producing more than 250 degrees. At a temperature between 180 and 200 degrees, the acid has completely melted. Succinic acid has a melting point of 184 degrees. At first, it was observed that water distills into small droplets, and when they fall on the molten succinic acid, these droplets explode strongly. Continue distilling until no condensed water is seen. It starts distilling acid into liquid form after about 20 minutes. The acid condenses into an amorphous solid in the receiving tube and flask. We must be careful not to obstruct the tube, as this could cause overpressure and the system could explode. We leave it heating for about 40 minutes in total and stop the heat. To prevent humidity, we place the tube of calcium chloride while we let it cool. The anhydride remains solidified at the bottom of the flask when it gets cold. By scraping off a small portion of the solid, we can determine its melting point. The melting point test showed a result between 130 and 140 degrees. The melting point of succinic anhydride is 118 degrees. A mixture of anhydride and succinic acid is the reason for the low melting point and unmelted white material in the capillary. To purify the obtained anhydride, we recrystallize it with 100% acetic acid. We put 40 milliliters of 100% acetic acid in the flask and heat it to reflux until the solid is completely diluted. Calcium chloride tubes can be used to protect the reflux condenser from moisture. We let it cool for an hour and observed a white solid that has crystallized. Vacuum suction is used to collect it. Wash the solid with 20 milliliters 100% acetic acid and twice with 20 milliliters of ether. We dry first by using a vacuum pump and then by dry in an oven at a temperature between 50 and 60 degrees. The last operation resulted in a melting point of 112 to 118 degrees, which is a good result and indicates a higher purity of the succinic anhydride obtained. In the second operation, we will use acetyl chloride to remove the water molecule and obtain succinic anhydrous. Acetyl chloride can irritate the respiratory tract, work in a fume hood or outdoors. In a 250 milliliters flask, add 24 grams of succinic acid and 44 milliliters of acetyl chloride. A reflux condenser is installed and the outlet is connected to the fume hood through a tube. The mix is heated until it is completely dissolved. The operation can last for about two hours. After all the acid has dissolved, we let it cool to room temperature and then take an ice bath to cool the succinic anhydride crystallize. We produce a white solid that is dispersed with 30 milliliters of 100% acetic acid. The white solid is collected by suction and then compacted by pressing it.
we use twice 30 milliliters of ether to wash both the flask and the solid in the funnel twice. Recrystallize from hot acetic acid and allow to cool. White needle shaped crystals are obtained. Use a suction device to collect and wash with 30 milliliters of ether. The solid dries quickly and the melting point can be determined immediately because the last wash involved ether. There were no unmelted succinic acid crystals observed due to the fast melting point. The value obtained was 19.6 degrees, which is very close to the melting point of pure succinic anhydride.